As the second turn starts, Earthman looks dashing in his new armor and pike. And the piker! Is, is, he's up! And his name is Bob! Hello, Bob! How do you feel about your upkeep, Bob? M Hello, sir! My upkeep is currently unpaid, sir! Oh, so, Bob, can you tell me what happened here? I'm newly popped myself. How about you? How old are you? And that locked chest, do you know what's inside that chest? Hmm, I'm afraid I don't know, sir. All I know is that not long ago we had five cities, then suddenly, one by one, they began to fall, and we only had one left. I'm 15 turns old, sir. I was popped in this very city. So I've never left, left these walls. Not that it has walls anymore. And that Chester? I'm only a biker, sir. I've not, never got told any of the important stuff. Maybe a warlord would know? He's clearly uncomfortable being asked too many questions. Usually he only got asked to poke stuff. While talking with your new minion, Bob, you begin to slowly and carefully extract the seeds from the two remaining fruits with the blade of your spear, which was actually a lot more difficult than you expected. You give half the fruit to Bob, and please eat it up. I don't feel any difference, sir. You would give the other half to Bob, and he... Oh, my upkeep has been paid, sir. Having your army fed, you decide to eat your own piece of fruit. As you finish, you feel satisfied. Earthman and Bob have both eaten a piece of fruit. Upkeep for the turn has been paid. You gain two fruit seeds. Earthman, two actions used. Feeling well fed and confident, you tell Bob to stand back as you... Mm, I'm gonna deal with this chest. And you summon a decent amount of juice and open says me and you hear the lock mechanism spinning by itself and then it pops open and you rush forward and you look at oh it's covered by a layer of coins a thin layer of coins 300 schmuckers and on top sits a single gem and a rolled up scroll. Ooh. Congratulations, you have opened the chest! XP gain! Woohoo! Earthman, two actions used. And 25 juice used. Very well. Inspecting the scroll, it appears to be a monumentary scroll. It is labeled Liquidate. And then, Bob, please scout the eggs north of here. Uh, but retreat immediately if any hostiles are encountered. Very well, sir. And he disappears to the eggs boundary, leaving you alone once again. While Bob is away, you turn your attention to the seeds that he has saved earlier. Now, digging two holes with the spear, dropping seeds and covering it with soil, you plant them down. You have planted two seeds. Earthman has used two actions. Deciding to use the last of your actions and juice, you begin to working on constructing a crude humanoid-shaped doll from the wood and debris and the eggs. Using all your remaining actions and juice, you create its form. However, you have not granted it motion yet. You have created a shell of a crude wood golem. Earthman has used two actions and 75 juice. A short while later, Bob returns from his scouting mission apparently unharmed. Sir, the Norton eggs had some old trees in it and a flying unit that I think was feral. I did not, it did not seem to notice me, but I immediately retreated as ordered. Bob has used four moves. Hmm, Bob, do you think you could croak the feral? And did the trees have rations in them? Uh, I didn't see any fruit in the tree, sir, and it was a fairly small feral. I might be able to croak it on my own. Uh, too small to act as a mount, Bob? <laughs> Definitely too small to act as a mount. Well, then please cut the other eggs over there, northeast. Very well, sir, and disappears to the eggs boundary. 
Bob seems to take quite a while scouting the next eggs. You begin to wonder if something has gone horribly wrong. Eventually Bob returns, but in an awful rush, and slightly pale with a tight grip on his trusty spear. Goblin, sir! And the turn ends.